Hi guys, it's Peg and I still don't have any answers. I have a new camera above me which is not working the way I want it to. If you see what it does, it changes color when I move in. Yeah, that's not a good sign, so I've got to figure that one out. Um, I also have a new headset and I hope the sound is coming through clearly for you. So anyway, as I was shopping for some of these things like um, you know, a different camera, a different headset, you know, trying to eliminate some of the sounds and, and picture issues that I've been having. Um, I did a little personal shopping, and one of the things that I got was a bunch of Posca pins. Um, I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but this is my new favorite paint, paint pen. I got them in a medium point which is what it's uh, 0.9 there's 15 colors in that and it's kind of a kind of a bullet tip and I don't see a lot of difference between that and the 0.7 which is these um, but these have a real pointy tip on them, not a bullet tip. And the one thing that you will notice is that the size of the pen varies. So you're getting a lot more in this one, I think, than you are in this one. But, you know, I didn't know that because I was buying the stuff online. Now, the other thing that I got, which I thought was pretty cool were these uh, metallic Posca. I don't know if you guys have seen these before or not, but it's got a shimmer to it. I'll just do a little circular thing here and see if it picks up the shimmer. Yeah, you can see it shine there. So it's like a metallic and it comes in... How many different colors did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different colors of those. So that was kind of fun. And you can see I've just been playing on an old uh, envelope with the different colors and, and checking them out to see what they're going to do. The other thing I got were the ink tense blocks. Um, I had seen a lot of people use them and they were talking about them being permanent. Well, I like anything that's permanent because, you know, I am I like working in mixed media and I like working in layers. So I tried, you know, putting it down and putting water over it to see if it was going to move then. So I, I put it down, I used a watercolor brush, and now it is totally dry. But you can see that when I, this red here, when I come in and, and pick up the red... It still travels. Not a lot, but a little bit. It travels out. So it is not really what I call permanent. It's not like an archival ink or something like that. So if you're going to put layers down, I would say you probably want to seal it because um, you're going to get some bleed. So <laughs> got to try it, right? That leads me to another thing. You know, I have a Facebook group, which is, uh, I'll put a link down below. And I pick up this stuff thinking it's going to be the cat's meow. And yeah, it's okay, but it's not really, you know, I don't want to clutter up my workspace with things that I'm, I'm really not working with that much. So that said, I created this Facebook group so that I could you know, move out some of the things from my craft room. So if you're interested in getting things like here's a here's a whole bunch of Prima markers that I haven't even used is for uh, different skin tones. And, you know, here's watercolors and here's like watercolor pencils. You know, I'm not using this stuff. I have 
two different sets of watercolor pencils. This one's 24, I've got a set of 36. I don't think I need this set of 24 anymore. So, I mean, I'm going to make some bargains. Um, if you guys are interested in that, jump over to Facebook and, you know, get in on some deals. I'm going to post some stuff later this week. I'm, I've got stamps and stencils and dies and, you know, all kinds of stuff that I will eventually be posting. Um, I've done this before. I've done it a couple of times, and uh, it helps me to reorganize, and it also helps you guys because it's saving you a little bit of cash on the things that you might like and you might use. So, that said, one of the things I was going to do today was another mixed media morsel. And number 10 is uh, masking technique. So what I have here is some uh, removable label tape. And I have a punch. And so I'm just going to punch some shapes out of this and create create my mask. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in with some different things on top. Turn this around and use this side. And reveal what we have underneath eventually once we've I should turn that a bit the other way. And what I have here is just some um, collaged papers. I had a stash of stuff that was sitting around. And when I was uh, not doing much else one day, I just uh, spent time doing the gluing paper down stuff. Okay. So here's this. I'm going to fasten that down. Let's see, I've got some paint here. So I think that's what I'll use. Just going over the whole thing. Yep. This is a fun, easy technique. If you haven't done this before, give it a try. It's just something you don't have to think a lot about, but it gives quite a nice effect. Okay, now I think what I want is a stencil. So let me grab one and be back. <laughs> 